Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for the weekend of August 29th, 30th, 31st, and September 1st, Labor Day 2014. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. On this Labor Day weekend, you can now download my September 2014 webinar, two hours going into the whole month of September. All the exciting stuff coming up, especially Pluto going direct. I recorded this live on Friday, so it'll be up later on Friday afternoon at InclusiveAstrology.com. And yes, it is Labor Day weekend here in America, so I am taking Monday off, so thank you very much for giving me a day off, and that's why I'm extending the horoscope for this extended long holiday weekend. And this is a lot happening this weekend, especially with the intensity of this weekend. But let's start with Friday first. Friday's a great day. I'll be honest with you, the moon's in Libra still in a really good position coming off the big T-square, looking at harmony connections, making a nice sextile to Venus, which has come off this kind of intense square aspect. Friday could be a really fun day. Good relationship aspects, excitement, especially for the weekend, feeling good energy, but the sun is going to make its big opposition to Neptune, which could be the fantasy of, oh, we're getting lost in this. But on top of that, it could also be a spiritual calling. So I'm just going to say this right now. Be very careful in your life right now about the big decisions you're making. Make sure you're checking in with spirit. Make sure you're checking in on the other side. A sun opposed Neptune energy is making sure you're conscious or unconscious. If you're in fantasy or reality. And that's the battle of Virgo and Pisces, right? Virgo is all about harvesting and understanding it. Pisces is all about just letting it go, going wherever the flow takes you. And so this is kind of an interesting aspect where there's the battle of, I believe if you're feeling called to something, just make sure that you have the reality or the means to make it. That's Virgo, the physical aspect. We still have Mercury here, which is in a really positive position. So Friday is a day where I think we could feel summoned literally, to a decision or a calling or an awareness in our life that we need to become clear upon, especially with the moon in Libra, we might still be contemplated about it. We might be still weighing things out. And that sun and Neptune could really paint this really powerful picture. But it's whether or not we can truly pick up our paintbrushes and paint it for real. That's where we're really at in our life right now. And this weekend is going to trigger a lot. That's because the moon is going to come into Scorpio on Saturday. And I'm going to put this out there. Saturday and Sunday, especially Saturday night into Sunday, which, by the way, I do all these astrology times on noon Pacific. So wherever you're at, add the hours to noon Pacific and do the calculation. But for Saturday night into Sunday, woo, be careful. The moon is going to be in Scorpio. It's going to make some nice trines over to Neptune. I think Saturday is a good day. But as the night starts to creep in, we're going to have to go deep into our truth. And it's going to highlight the moon making a square over to Jupiter. So I think there's going to be a lot of extreme and positive or very extreme negative. Things can go positive and negative real fast. Whenever you deal with this much energy in Leo and this much energy in Scorpio, which was last weekend, we had a big earthquake. We had nightclub shootings. I'm just putting it out there to people. This energy goes extreme with three planets in Scorpio this weekend. Three. And the moon triggering Saturn, the moon triggering Mars, and this is all going to happen Saturday and especially Sunday, when we're going to have all three sitting there at 18 and 19. I mean, this is just really, really powerful. I think it's, it's important for everybody to really see that to be very careful of the actions you take this weekend. As the universe is really, as the sun opposing Neptune and all this, getting us prepared for some really awesome energy. But we've got to get down in our truth. We also got to see how we got to control our anger, control our actions, control things, and listen to our heart. Venus is going to be coming off of the square, but it is still squaring Venus this weekend, or Venus is still squaring Mars this weekend. So there's going to be a lot around getting to the bottom of, do you like this or not in a relationship? Do you, is this your truth or not? This can be a very clear weekend of what to do and what not to do. This is very bipolar energy. Now, granted, the sun is in Virgo, which is a stable energy, but this is 
mutable sign of Virgo. And on top of that, the Virgo energy has been opposing Neptune where we can be drifted or caught up into subconscious, past life, weird situations. So I recommend taking the more chill road this weekend. Now, if you've already planned a crazy par party weekend, believe me, you can access the very extreme of the party, but there are gonna be boundaries that are tested this weekend, big time. There are gonna be rules that are tested. Very bad weekend to be around police and get caught up in that. This is one of those weekends where you can get caught up. Just gonna be real. Hey, that's why you watch this channel. <laughs> so anyway, moving on, and spiritually speaking, I'm looking at Monday. The moon comes into Sagittarius, finally comes out of the Scorpio, where I think this is a very deep weekend of, as we're making these big decisions, we gotta feel that we're called to them, we're feeling summoned, we're getting to the bottom, the universe shows the true final piece of the big Scorpio story, I feel, because we're not gonna have Mars and Saturn like this in Scorpio for a long time. We're not gonna have the moon trigger all this. Square Leo like this, we're not gonna see this for a long time. So this is the final kind of big Scorpio Leo hurrah hurrah. And it's kind of highlighting this Jupiter Saturn square, which is like, you know, being very careful on what we expand our heart in, making sure it's really right. So this weekend's really kind of intense in your own inner world and in the outer world, being very careful of breaking limits or breaking the rules or being over zealous or action oriented. This has got to be very careful. But it's Monday with the moon in Sagittarius that opens up these new possibilities as it creates a big T-square with Neptune, the sun, and all this mutable energy comes. We might not know what to do with it all. We, there could be a lot of stimulation. Mercury is going to be on its last day of Virgo on Monday. So there's going to be this angst to really get to the bottom of things and you know, explore all these new things and all these new opportunities and all these new ideas, especially after the weekend triggers a lot of deep emotional truths or realities. It's gonna be a weekend with some crazy stuff. New relationship come in, old relationship out. You know, just like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's kind of the energy of the weekend. So be prepared. Be prepared for this weekend. I'm excited to see what comes your way. And what does the card of the weekend say? <laughs> the king of wands upright. The good news is that when you get to the bottom of things and this kind of energy comes in, you could truly have a great time. But be careful that you're not having too good of a time. And you're not gonna get in trouble. And to make sure that you're empowered with the energy that's around you. And the only way to do that is to get to the bottom and make sure that you're in the kingdom that you really want. That you're around the people that you really want on your court. That you're really embedded in your true happiness. And trust me, it will come out this weekend. Check out my website, inclusiveastrology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one reading or if you want to join me on premium and watch your sun sign horoscopes, they are up live on later on Monday, Labor Day. Thank you so much for all of your guys' support and I will see you on Tuesday.